Well, Cleveland sits in a very interesting position. You're on the watershed line between the streams that flow into the Ohio River and, of course, you have the streams that flow into the uh, Great Lakes. So you're obviously part of the Great Lakes, but you're just a stone's throw from the richest region in the country for heirloom uh, fruits, vegetables, and grains, Appalachia, that has more heritage varieties of seeds and breeds than the whole rest of North America combined. Uh, the Great Lakes has an extraordinary richness of fruits, both wild and cultivated, that we may not see in other parts of the country because of the s settlement history of this area that an extraordinary number of incredible fruits came in with the French uh, to what is now Canada. And those fruits uh, trickled into uh, Michigan and Ohio. Of course, you had um, a character named uh, Johnny Appleseed that uh, created one of the largest uh, land-based experiments in uh, fruit diversity in the history of humankind by uh, planting tens of thousands of um, apples, many of which turned out to be spitters, uh, suitable only for making hard cider, which Johnny Appleseed drank his share of. But uh, many of those seedling apples created new varieties so that by the time he died, North America, uh, with Ohio as the core area of this, had over 16,000 named apple varieties uh, from a crop that hadn't been on the continent for more than 200, 250 years. That's extraordinary that that many apple varieties were uh, established then identified as something special by local farmers and gardeners, kept and passed around, named, and then offered through independently owned nurseries. Uh, we now only have about 3,500 varieties of apples commercially available in North America and 11 of those varieties, mostly improved uh, varieties bred this century, make up 90% uh, of what people get in grocery stores. And so Carol Goland and some wonderful people at Ohio State have shown that the only way that this great diversity of apples survives in Ohio is because of the direct marketing venues like farmers markets and community supported agriculture. Otherwise, kids in Ohio would be growing up with only knowing 11 kinds of apples, imagining that uh, red delicious or yellow delicious or Macintosh is all that an apple can be. And obviously anyone who's tasted five or six other kinds of heirloom apples suddenly realizes that their idea of apples is being greatly expanded. It would be like imagining that uh, all dogs look like German shepherds and then coming upon chihuahuas and poodles and dachshunds and, and St. Bernard's.